Okay, so this is what we are doing today. It is a flame-inspired, fire-inspired manicure. Um, I know it's possibly not the most Christmassy of all time, but I associate, um, you know, fire slightly with Christmas, usually more in a fireplace with stockings on it and Santa coming down it and maybe chestnuts roasting around it. Um, but yeah, I just um, thought, you know, red's Christmassy, it's got glitter, it's got gold, it's you know, suitable for a party and it's quite simple to do but I think it's quite striking and yeah, red and gold are Christmassy colours as well. So I've done this before with my nails and I've done it with dark blue and I use like an um, iridescent hologrammy glitter for the flame and then blue glitter in the very bottom. So it's it's something you can definitely do with different colours and it still looks really cool. But I went with gold and red to be properly fiery and flamey and Christmassy. So Tutorial's coming up and I hope you guys enjoy this and if you give it a try, um, you know, let me know. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so today um, I've already done my base coat which is Nails Inc. Ken and the Caviar and my main colour which is Nails Inc. Villiers Street. It's just a metallic red and it's a very Christmassy type one. So now we're going to get started with doing the flame effect and I'm just going to use this gold MAC nail varnish Again, as long as it's gold, just like, you know, it's a red nail varnish, it doesn't matter if it's the right one. This came out in a holiday collection a while ago, um, so you can't actually get this particular one anymore, but as I said, it's just because it's gold. So you want to get the brush pretty much almost clean, and then you're going to start at the edge of the nail and drag the colour back. And having the brush almost dry is, yes, annoying for pigmentation, but good for getting the wavy effect. So just do that so you've got the full thing looking good. Okay, so that's me finished with the gold. Um, as you can see, I really need to tidy up around my cuticles. Um, so the next step, I'm going to take a glitter polish. I'm just using a Barry M one because that's the red glitter polish that I have. I know there's like um, probably like a million of these in the market. So again, who cares as long as it's the red glitter polish? Okay, and again, you want your brush quite dry, and that was not quite dry. <laughs> and yeah, again, you just kind of want to start at the bottom in the center and spread it out. Wipe brush even cleaner because I didn't do that properly. And yeah. Just spread it up. And then when I move on to the next nails, I don't really redunk my brush. I just like kind of get it around the lip of the bottle where the stuff was I wiped off already. And again, just drag it up, stopping short of where you had the gold. So. And you can see how it starts to look far more flamey, fiery. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to go finish these off, tidy up the cuticles, and come back and show you the finished result. Okay, so I finished up doing the glitter polish on each nail. Now, this glitter polish, I only really need to use one coat of because, as you can see, it is spectacularly glittery. So, I just put a little bit on each nail, and as you can see, it comes less high up than the gold, and it kind of creates like the heart of the flame effect. And then I just went ahead and finished it off with the Kensington Caviar top coat from Nails Inc. This is my favourite one, and I like it, it's nice and glossy, it dries nicely and I tidied up a little bit around the edges of my cuticles and I'm now going to go for a shower which is probably going to finish off the rest of them. So that is the finished manicure. As you can see it's um, okay in red it's a little bit in your face um, but I really like it. It's perhaps not something you want to wear to work if you work in an office or whatever but um, for party nails I think it makes a bit of an impact and it's quite easy so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that and leave a comment down below if you try it.